the Linus Sobrick, nicknamed Barrack Sobricks, is a loudspeaker designed and manufactured by Lin Products. The Sobrick is known for both its reproduction of low bass frequencies and being very demanding on amplifiers. Launched in 1973, the Sobrick DMS, Lin's maiden and flagship loudspeaker was based on and named for the isobaric loading principle invented in the 1950s. The speaker exists also as the Isobaric PMSA circumflex destined for the professional market. Although discontinued in 1992, it remains popular among audiophiles. While other loudspeaker manufacturers sought to outperform each other to produce more quantum base output from their products, Lin was seeking clear undistorted low frequency base. Lin theorized a design whose bass could go all the way to DC and be without fundamental resonance. The quest for that extra octave of dry and extended bass sound and more accurate reproduction resulted in the Isobric. Lin launched the original Isobric DMS loudspeaker in 1973, the year following the release of its first product, the Sonic LP12. DMS is the contraction for domestic monitor system and is designed to be driven passively in the home setting a circumflex it incorporated a crossover within the loudspeaker cabinet. The Isobaric PMS loudspeaker launched in 1977, destined for the professional market is without the internal crossover. This latter configuration opens up more wiring and driving options, in particular active operation and triamping. The Isobaric is so named as it employs the isobaric loading principle invented by Harry Olson in the 1950s. Two base units are mounted in a sealed container and driven in parallel so as to effectively double the speaker enclosure volume and extend its base frequency response beyond what would be possible for otherwise identical speakers. Lin used a variant of the isobaric principle and patented the use of two base drive units facing forward in an isobaric arrangement in early 1974. In 1988, Lin externalized the crossover of the DMS to boards with nominal 4 ohm impedance designed to lie flat at the base of the stands. Upon that change, the original distinction between DMS and PMS disappeared along with the suffix designation. The DMS was thus discontinued. Although a Sobrick PMS apostrophe remained on price lists until the speaker was discontinued in 1992, Lin brochures dwell little on performance specifications, mentioning somewhat vaguely that the frequency response varies by only a few decibels from 20 Hz to 20 kHz with the isobaric loading extending usable base response to below 10 Hz. Lin also claimed very low distortion and high sound pressure levels without quantification. Recommended amplifier power rating is in the range of 50A circumflex 500 watts. Hi-Fi for pleasure noted that the speaker's impedance, although quoted at 3 ohms nominal, dipped considerably at some parts of the audio spectrum. This made the DMS's sobric very hard for amplifiers to drive, potentially causing many amplifiers' output protection to trip. Equally, the two heavy woofers in each isobric made them twice as power-hungry. Such demands happen to make name amplification the perfect match because of its high current delivery capabilities and its toleration of near-short circuits. The isobric was famously used as the acid test for the budget price NAD 3020 amplifier at its UK launch. In the 1970s, the DMS isobric, available in a number of veneers, sold for a circumflex £1,000. As part of their corporate philosophy, Lin intended significant dealer involvement in customer education and decision-making, and included teaching customers how to listen correctly for musical attributes. The trial and evaluation of the product prior to purchase and dealer's expert installation are considered by Lin to be important parts of the value added of their top-end products. As such, no instructions were supplied with the product. The isobaric PMS retailed at a circumflex £2,400 including stands in May 1991, and the 4 ohm crossover was priced just under a circumflex £500.